Hello, in this video I'm going to answer a frequently asked question, which is why must a geostationary satellite orbit in the equatorial plane? There are two things we can choose for our orbit. One is the orbital altitude and the other is the angle of inclination. If your angle of inclination is zero, then you have an equatorial orbit. If your angle of inclination is 90 degrees, then what you have is a polar orbit. Say we have a satellite that's orbiting in the equatorial plane. Remember the Earth is spinning. So if the satellite is going around the Earth at the same rate as the Earth's rotation, then this satellite is going to be geostationary because the satellite is going to remain on the same spot above the Earth. Now, you can't be geostationary if you are in any other inclined orbit. So, even if you arrange for the satellites to do one round every 24 hours, you see that it does not remain at the same latitude. You can see it climbing up and down the latitudes. So, from the point of view of the Earth, you see a satellite that goes north and then south and then north and then south. So, it's not geostationary. Now, here comes the favourite question. Huh? Why not arrange for the satellites to orbit above a particular latitude uh, every 24 hours? So, doesn't that make it geostationary? Yes, it would be geostationary, except that this is not a possible orbit. This circular motion is centred about a point here. So, if you want to do this circular motion, you need a net force that's always pointing towards this position here. We know that all satellites rely on the Earth's gravitational pull to keep them in circular motion. So the Earth is only going to pull the satellites towards the center of the Earth. So the gravitational force acting on the satellites will be towards the center of the Earth and not towards the center of this uh, circle here. That's why this is not a possible orbit. So in short, all orbits must be centered about the center of the Earth. And if you want to be geostationary, you mustn't have any angle of inclination. So we are only left with the equatorial orbit. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!